Okay, this is a quick video. This is the third time I'm uploading it. I'm not sure what happened, but this is a quick video to show some of the new functions in vCarve Pro version 10.5. And one of the ones that's really neat is the way that it now uh, can merge the tool pass for the smart bench in in the output creation. So um, if we have uh, this logo or this this tray system that I was doing, uh, it's two big letters uh, in mahog cut out of mahogany. Uh, What's important to me to show is that if you set up and rename your tool paths and add the uh, what type of bit you're using, like so this 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 first operation was a pocket, and I so I, I renamed it by hitting the right button and going to rename, and I named it pocket using the bowl bit. I'm using an inch and a quarter bowl bit to do it, um, and so this was the less deep areas, and then I did it deeper in the center of the letters. Um, and then I was doing the profile cutout using an 8mm end mill. So if you do this now when you save the toolpath, it will take the different, all the toolpaths, rather than, than just the uh, an individual one, you can put them all together and it will merge this pocket bowl bit, as we've named it here, and pocket the deep areas. It'll merge those together so when it puts them out, they will have been lumped together. So what this will do uh, is we'll go into save the tool paths and I'm going to save them to uh, under vector uh, jobs this is the B and D uh, plus the tray uh, and I will name them give it a, the full job name or however you want to do it uh, if you know the naming conventions that I have used in the past I like to put the job name B and D or Smith job, Wells job, whatever, and then I was naming them one, and I would put pocket bowl bit two for the profile cutout. But then these were out of order because this would be one, but but actually would have two different tool paths here because they would be merged. It would it would put them together. So the way this is doing it now is I'm going to put these down. I'm going to go here and just drop them, and then we're going to open that up. And so it took. It, the name that I gave it, B and D, and it took the first and second tool paths here and here and put those together and it named it Pocket Bowl Bit because that's what I named the first one. So it lost the name of the second one, but it kept the name of the first one. I'm going to pause the video for a minute, catch the phone. Okay, so that's a nice way of doing this. So you have, uh, in this case, I've got the, the job there and then I've got the first and second tool path in order. And I'm pocketing using the bowl bit, and then the job name, and then the third tool path. I've got one and two up the first, and then the second file has the third tool path, which was the profile cutout using the 8mm end mill. So I like that way of doing it. It gives you a nice long file name that you can read on the console, the smart bench. It's a smart way of organizing your jobs. And then it combines the, the, the tool paths here, so it's not saying, you know, number one and number two the way I was doing it. This is a little cleaner. There's a whole bunch of updates in this uh, update that uh, that are very nice, and, and they're going to make a lot of the modifying of the vectors to get the, the design right a lot quicker. So if you go to their upgrade, uh, go to vectric.com slash upgrade slash vcarve pro or aspire, or whatever you're using, and they're, they've, as usual, do a very good job with their videos showing the new functions and there's a text list of it as well available on there uh, but there's there's just a lot of nice uh, enhancements to the program uh, this is part of your normal updates I believe if you're on version 10 if you're not on version 10 I think that I saw a price of $90 US um, for the update so this is pretty strong and it, it will help you organize your jobs so that's the video I'm gonna try a third time to upload this thing and have the video and the audio all work together so Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the Yeti Smart Bench, please get in touch with me at yetismartbench.com and then go to the contact page. Thanks.